Well, another man has cut off his own dick. At least he didn't stab his mom. Oh wait, he did that too. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? So a 21 year old student has cut off his own dick and then he stabbed his mom 11 times. His mom managed to lock herself in a bathroom and call police. And when police arrived, they arrested this man without a dick. And apparently he was not aware of his injuries. He had no idea he cut his own dick off because he was on drugs. Who would have thunk it? Someone would have to be on drugs to cut their own dick off or extremely insane. There's not a lot of sober sane people that are like, you know what, this thing dangling in between my legs? What a nuisance. Let me just snip that off. Oh. Much better. My legs, I can cross them now. It's great. And this mother who was stabbed 11 times, she's okay. She managed to lock herself in the bathroom and call police even though one of her lungs was punctured. And then when police got there, they arrested her son who was covered in his own blood climbing out an upper window. And apparently he was unaware of his injuries. He had no idea his dick was gone. He had no idea what he had done. This man was on a type of methadrone called Meow Meow. And apparently on this night, he was snorting tons of lines of Meow Meow and drinking alcohol. So he was on drugs. <laughs> Meow, that's your problem. Don't do drugs, meow. It's not good for you. See, this is why I have never and will never try hard drugs. Not even once. Because for me, I feel like I'm just crazy enough that that one time I do drugs will just send me batshit crazy. It'll send me off the rails. I'll just go fucking insane. I'd say crazy shit I don't mean. My dick would turn into a monster that I have to rip off. I just, I couldn't do that to myself. I would never. I mean, there's a lot of other reasons I wouldn't do hard drugs. But going batshit crazy is among the top. This guy went so crazy that while he was stabbing his own mom, he was like, I love you, I'm sorry, but this is my prophecy. He was just being one of those crazy fuckers that's like, oh, God told me to do it. The voice is in my head. When he was being arrested, he was like, I'm a pedophile, I deserve to die, take me to the light. Well, if he is a pedophile, he can cut his dick off all he wants. Nobody wants him using that shit. But you know, I'm hoping that he's not actually a pedophile and he was just saying the first things that came to his mind because he also said that he could see vampires, so... He doesn't remember anything about this night, and even when he was being arrested, he had no idea his dick was gone. He was just like, I see vampires and shit. Like, no man, you have other concerns. Your dick, you're bleeding out from the dick. He needs to be more concerned about where his penis is and if it's gonna be reattached, not if there's vampires in the world. And actually, they did get this guy to the hospital and his dick is now reattached and he's going through rehabilitation. Dickabilitation. I wonder what it's like to have your dick reattached and have to use it like the days after it's reattached. Like, does it leak? Does he try to take a piss and it sprays out the side? That would be so fucking disturbing to me. If you get your dick cut off and reattached, you might as well just get like some penis enlargement surgery while you're at it. Just be like, you know what? Since you're gonna be cutting around down there, why don't you just, you know, pull out another couple inches and then reattach it. I want to read the story where a guy gets his dick reattached, but the doctor fucks up and reattaches it upside down. He just wakes up from his surgery and he's like, I know I cut my own dick off, but come on guys, come on. You couldn't reattach it the right way up? And they're like, oh, oh, we didn't even notice it was upside down. <laughs> You know what they say, third time's a charm, and he's all like, wait, third time? I thought this was the first time! Meow, see, that's your problem. You were on drugs. Meow, you gotta calm down, bro. Meow, you see, that's your problem.